If you've ever wondered what my office actually looks like as an online tutor from home, you're in for a treat today because I'm going to show you the behind the scenes of what it looks like back here, what things I have for technology that really help me, and you'll get to see them all. And I talked about this on an Instagram live and everybody that was there said, please show us your home office. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I was hoping that my Rode wireless mic I could get to actually work today, but uh, alas, I haven't been able to get it to work. And I normally use a blue Yeti. That's what you normally see me on. But today I am going to be showing you a little bit of things here and there in my office. So in order to do that, I'm going to have to flip the camera around. So come with me to see. I wanted to mention that I just got done tutoring and I had a coaching call. So this is the perfect time for me to show you what my office looks like a little before and after I move things around. And I'm saying that because when I film all my YouTube videos, I always batch ahead. But for this one, I wanted to show you kind of like live action, what my, my office actually looks like so that you know that I'm not perfect, but I do try to keep things organized. So I'm gonna show you in a second what my office looks like after I've done a tutoring client, an out school class, and then I had a coaching call with a tutor that's trying to grow their tutoring business. So three completely different things, all done from my home office, and you can do it too. So stay with me, we're gonna get to it. Okay, this is where the magic happens in my business. I film everything from my home office. So the first thing you'll notice is a light kit. And I use those when I'm filming. Sometimes I film, or sometimes I use them when I am actually teaching a class too. This is what I just used to film the first part of the video, just to have some extra light and have this hold my phone so my phone wasn't shaking. I actually film with my MacBook and I'll show you that in a second if I can get it to move around. Um, here is what I film on. I use the camera on here. It's a great camera. Those are the notes from my coaching client <laughs> and I love it. So it works really well. This is a MacBook Pro. It is new. I got it last year. Another thing that I absolutely love for tutoring is having a second monitor. I've talked about that before, but I couldn't live without that second monitor. It has been life-changing for me. I cannot tutor or coach people. I really wanted you to see my desk while it's messy, so let's tidy it up though so you can see it when it's not so messy. Okay, we have tidied up and I wanna show you, it took me just a couple seconds, I didn't do it on camera, but what I did was just clear away things on my desk that I wasn't using. And the microphone normally I would have wrapped up during this time because I'm not using it right now, but um, it is just to the side, which you could use that for tutoring, but I use that to film YouTube videos. This is also my favorite thing, it's a document camera and that's how I tutor kids online from home. I do the same things I would do in person with them, online from home using that document camera. I can't recommend that enough and I will have links for everything in the description box of this video. Another thing that I invested in for my business was the actual keypad that's wireless keyboard and the magic mouse. Now these both are kind of pricey. You could get another brand, but these link to my MacBook Pro and I really enjoy that. And again, this is the bigger screen, the bigger MacBook. And I got that because I just knew that I was gonna be filming lots of videos and need it for my business and a Dell monitor. That connects to this with an HDMI cord and it works great. So another thing people often ask me about in my office are these decorative sound panels and they are great. They help block out the sound in my office. This was an old closet that my husband converted into an office for me during the pandemic. So now I use it as such. And these are all my lovely people inside of From Zero to Cha-Ching, although I have two names to add to that wall. That's my TPT course. So let me show you my other side of my office. Right now it's a little bit messy, but oh well, it's real life. I keep some learning materials over there and my dog will be likes to sleep on the floor <laughs> there when I'm teaching. This desk also uh, goes up and down. So it has a handle and it's great for that. So I highly recommend this desk. I think I got it on Amazon and it's huge. The surface area is definitely what I needed, especially when I was a virtual teacher from home. 
I hope this video inspired you and just know that we all start somewhere, whether it's in your kitchen on the dining room table or turning an old closet into an office like this one. It just takes small steps and I, I encourage you to invest in one thing for your tutoring business at a time, whether it's the document camera or an extra monitor, start there um, and comment below what things for your tutoring business do you think that you need? I'll answer your questions if there's something you're curious about or what is the best option for tutoring online online from home. I'd love to chat with you more. And don't forget, if you missed Sold Out Summer, my live masterclass that I taught last week, you can still buy the replay. And it is the most action-packed hour you will ever have from me. I'm telling you, it's already getting rave reviews. The people that showed up absolutely loved it. They're putting the carousel posts into place. They're learning how to send DMs on social media, and they have all the email templates to grow their tutoring business and have a sold out summer. I'll put the link in the description box below. Save your seat so that you can have instant access to all the replays. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Mm -hmm.